Managers Insider TV brought to you by Paulie Creative. Uh, my name is Pritesh Patel. Um, I am the Digital Marketing Manager. Um, the purpose of Managers Insider TV is to give you small uh, snippets of information, advice and guidance to help you um, put together digital marketing plans and campaigns and integrate uh, online marketing into your overall marketing strategy. Um, We'll be covering various different aspects of, of digital marketing, including social media, email marketing, uh, search engine optimization, web design, landing pages, all the way through to analytics and, and measurement and, and really what you should be measuring on a, on a regular basis. So we'll be visiting various different aspects as we go along. If you've got any questions or require any specific uh, require for us to cover any specific topics, then feel free to send your messages through to our Twitter profile, which is at Poorly Creative. Feel free to join our LinkedIn group um, called Mindful Insiders, um, where we'll be able to take discussions further or take any of your questions from there also. Okay, so for, without further ado, uh, the first topic I'd like to look at is um, search traffic and looking at brand and non-brand specific search terms. Um, something which may, you may already be familiar with uh, or you may completely not be familiar with. Um, when we're optimizing websites, we like to split out um, brand search terms to non-brand specific search terms. It helps us give us an idea of where to focus and prioritize our SEO efforts. Um, so without further ado, um, we've got brand search terms. Brand search terms, self-explanatory, they're search terms which include your company name, uh, the name of your products, um, and it's really looking at how many of these keywords uh, include your brand names and how many visits they generate. Um, so, for example, it could be poorly creative. Uh, it could be poorly creative Milton Keynes, it could be poorly creative marketing agency, it could be digital marketing agency poorly creative, um, construction industry blog poorly creative, uh, so forth. So, you know, it's, it's looking at all the different search terms but include a product or a brand name. Non-brand, uh, non-brand is focused on search terms which don't include company name. They're the ones that don't know of your brand. Uh, they're, not, they're the ones that don't know of your products. So, they know the use of their products but really you want to bring them to your site and expose them to your products and show them the advantages, the features, benefits and convert those visitors and capture their data. So really, search engine optimization um, is focused on non-brand specific search terms. There's no point uh, optimizing your website for uh, poorly created because, to be honest, you know, you're know always going to be on page one or number one in Google for your company name anyway. Um, so really, the non-brand ones are, are where the focus should be for your search engine optimization strategy. So as I said before, non-brand is derived from the long tail. Uh, the long tail, quickly just showing you and giving you an idea of, of what the long tail is, is really the, the keywords or search phrases that are used to, and it really generates a lower volume. So they're, they're the keywords are outside of your top 10 or top 20, depending on how popular your site is. They often get missed because they're the visits, uh, they're the keywords that generate you know, one, two, three, maybe at most five visits. Um, so we kind of tend to push those aside, but really that, that is where you should be really leveraging um, your SEO efforts, is to increase those fives and sixes and sevens and turn them into twenties and thirties and then pushing them along and getting for more and more traffic. Why? Well basically they carry a bit more intent, so you know, it's somebody that's looking for a 35,000 litre rainwater harvesting tank for domestic applications. They know exactly what they want. They know exactly what type of application it fits. Um, they just need a product now. So when they type that in uh, into Google, they'll be presented with lots of uh, different web pages from different companies. And to be honest, they're, they're the, you're going to be your competitors. Um, your on, online competitors will be different to your offline competitors. So really, non-brand is focused at the long tail. Those type of searches are more often than not questions. So it's how do I, who does, or where can I get, or how does this particular product work, or does this product come forward. So they're question type um, queries or searches. 
Um, and really this is where blogs kind of help because um, you can create the content based on what people are, are typing into search engines, you're more likely to bring them to, to, to your website. Non-brand specific searches could also implicate problems. How do I maintain or my particular product has broken down or there seems to be a problem or the red light seems to be coming on this, uh, showing up on this particular product. Again, creating content to answer those particular questions and bring them to your website. Different type of applications, like I said before, 35,000 litre rainwater harvesting tank for a domestic application. So capturing uh, the search traffic where they know exactly what kind of application they require. Product usage, how do I use a product, um, how is it best utilised, um, where, um, so questions, questions, again it relates to the question type uh, searches. Performance, so architects, specifiers uh, who are looking for your products who require some performance data. Um, so you know, they're just looking for a, a product that conforms with such and such um, criteria. And regulations, again, another uh, search term might be um, roofing buttons which conform to BS uh, such and such and such. So, Creating those type, that type of content, targeting your content towards those type of searches is more likely to bring them through to your website. The other aspect of that, uh, of non-branded search terms, is you can break that into, again, another two parts. You've got less specific non-brand search terms and you've got specific. Less specific might be you know, rainwater harvesting. So, it's not very specific, it's very broad, you know, lots and lots of uh, companies, lots and lots of products, so it's less specific. So downsides of that is you've got high competition, which means that more time is required, more effort will be required to optimise your website um, or web page to become more visible uh, because you've got a lot more competition and some of that competition may have been established a lot longer than your website, so therefore they've brought up a lot more credibility, a lot more trust, and they've got links pointing to it. Again, so SEO is another, really kind of another episode which we'll go into. However, for specific search terms, like your 35,000 litre rainwater harvesting tank for a three bed semi detached property, you know, long search phrase, very specific, there's a lot more intent there. And when there's a lot more intent, it means more likely to convert as well. So convert means you know, they come to your website and they've actually you've got a product brochure that fits their requirement. They then fill in their details to download it or they fill in their details to request more information or a sales visit or a call back. Or they may then decide, you know, I need a bit more information. So they sign up for a technical library or sign up for a blog or um, industry news, etc. So a specific non-brand search term um, may be, again, another way of whittling down and prioritising where your search engine optimization efforts should, should uh, be focused on. And going back to, to, to brand, um, a good way of measuring a brand awareness campaign uh, might be that you look at okay, how many visits have been generated from um, search engines using just your company name. So poorly creative, how many visits have been generated over a period of time, whether it be six months, 10 months, 12 months, two years, uh, depending on how, how much effort your campaigns are going to, to last for, you should see something like this. So visits plotted against time um, for one particular keyword, which is your company name, and you should see an increase. And if you see an increase of the number of people who are typing your brand name into Google to get to your website, it shows a bit of brand equity and it shows that your brand cam campaigns are having some sort of influence. And again, it all comes down to, if you're doing anything, is conversions. You've got to be able to convert that traffic. So it might all, well be all in good, you know, you've increased traffic levels to your website by 300%, but actually you're still generating the same number of inquiries as uh, 12 months ago, you know, one or two. You're still generating the same number of brochure downloads, five or six. But if you can actually measure from day one to day uh, to month 12 and actually see that conversions, the number of uh, people who have signed up for your newsletter, people who have downloaded brochures increased by 60, 70%. 
and your overall website conversion rate um, has increased by one or two percent. May not sound a lot, but you know, one or two percent could translate into 100, 200. Um, and then that's where really you start to see the benefits of, of doing your search engine optimization, looking at which particular type of keywords, know exactly what type of content to write. And again, it's a refine and learn process. So hopefully that gives you some guidance on uh, search engine optimization, um, non-brand and brand focus, and, and a little bit about measurement. And again, if you've got any questions uh, regarding any of what I've said today, uh, feel free to send us uh, a tweet um, at Poorly Creative or join our LinkedIn group, uh, My Digital Insiders, or send us an email. Um, it'll be, we'll be quite happy to answer any of your questions. So until next time on Whiteboard Wednesdays, uh, MDI TV brought to you by Poorly Creative. Uh, from me, uh, we'll see you again uh, next week. Thank you very much.